dear congregation. Today, we gather to explore the liberating power of breaking bonds and embracing the freedom that comes through Christ. Whether it be the chains of sin, addiction, fear, or past traumas, God offers us a path to break free and live victoriously. Let us delve into his word and discover the steps to breaking these bonds and experiencing the abundant life that Jesus promises. Ephesians 6 12 for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Before we can break free from our bonds, we must first identify them. These bonds may manifest as addictions, unhealthy relationships, negative thought patterns, or the grip of past hurts. Understanding that our battle is not merely physical but spiritual empowers us to confront these bonds with the strength of Christ. Philippians 4.13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Breaking bonds requires surrendering our own strength and relying on the power of God. We must humbly submit ourselves to his authority and trust in his ability to set us free. Through prayer, fasting, and seeking his guidance, we invite God to work in our lives and break the chains that bind us. Colossians 3.13 Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Forgiveness is a key component of breaking bonds. Holding on to resentment and bitterness only tightens the chains around us. By extending forgiveness to others and ourselves, we release the power they hold over us and open the door to healing and restoration. John 8.32 Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Often, the bonds that hold us captive are rooted in lies, lies we believe about ourselves, about God, and about our circumstances. As we immerse ourselves in God's word, we discover the truth that sets us free. By replacing falsehoods with God's truth, we break the power of deception and step into the light of freedom. Hebrews 12:11. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. Breaking bonds requires discipline and obedience to God's commands. This may involve making difficult choices, relinquishing harmful habits, and establishing new patterns of behavior aligned with God's will. Though the journey may be challenging, the fruit of obedience is freedom and abundant life. 1 Thessalonians 5:18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude and contentment are powerful antidotes to the bonds of discontentment and dissatisfaction. By cultivating a heart of gratitude, we shift our focus from what we lack to the abundance of blessings that surround us. Even in the midst of trials, finding reasons to thank God opens our eyes to His faithfulness and provision, breaking the chains of negativity and despair. Ecclesiastes 4 9 to 10 2 are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Breaking bonds is not a solitary endeavor. God has designed us for community, and seeking support from fellow believers can provide strength and encouragement along the journey. By surrounding ourselves with godly companions who can offer accountability, prayer, and encouragement, we share each other's burdens and multiply our joy in the Lord. Hebrews 10 36 You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He has promised. Breaking bonds often requires perseverance and endurance. There may be moments of doubt, discouragement, and setbacks along the way. Yet, by anchoring our faith in the promises of God and fixing our eyes on the hope of His redemption, we press forward with determination and trust. Through unwavering faith, we overcome obstacles and claim the victory that God has prepared for us. Psalm 118 24 The Lord has done it this very day, let us rejoice today and be glad. As we journey toward freedom, it's essential to celebrate the victories and milestones along the way. Each step forward, each moment of breakthrough, is a testament to God's faithfulness and power at work in our lives. By pausing to acknowledge and celebrate these victories, we reinforce our confidence in God's ability to lead us to complete freedom and wholeness. Jeremiah 29 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Ultimately, breaking bonds requires surrendering our future into the hands of God's providence. Trusting in His perfect timing and sovereign plan, we release our anxieties and fears, knowing that He who began a good work in us will carry it to completion. With unwavering faith and confident expectation, we step forward into the abundant life that God has prepared for us, free from the bonds that once held us captive. Ephesians 4 31-32 Get rid of all bitterness, rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Breaking bonds often requires extending forgiveness and letting go of past hurts and grievances. 
holding on to bitterness and resentment only serves to entangle us further in the chains of negativity and pain. Yet, by following Christ's example of forgiveness and compassion, we release the grip of bondage and experience the freedom that comes from letting go and embracing forgiveness. 2 Corinthians 5:17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, the new is here. Breaking bonds involves embracing our identity in Christ as new creations. We no longer define ourselves by our past mistakes, failures, or the labels others may place upon us. Instead, we find our worth, value, and identity in being children of God, redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Embracing our identity in Christ empowers us to break free from the chains of insecurity, self-doubt, and inadequacy. Proverbs 3 5-6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Breaking bonds requires surrendering control to God and trusting in His perfect plan and timing. Often, we cling to the illusion of control, attempting to orchestrate our lives according to our own desires and agendas. However, true freedom is found in relinquishing control to the One who holds the universe in His hands. As we trust in God's wisdom and sovereignty, we find peace and rest in knowing that He is guiding us every step of the way. Galatians 5:1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Breaking bonds necessitates walking in obedience and faithfulness to God's Word. As we align our lives with His truth and follow His commands, we experience the liberty and joy that come from living in accordance with His will. Steadfast obedience to God's Word guards us against the snares of sin and bondage, enabling us to walk in the freedom that Christ has secured for us. Colossians 3:13. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Breaking bonds involves extending grace and mercy to others, just as God has shown us grace and mercy. We recognize that we are all flawed and in need of forgiveness, and as such, we choose to extend compassion and forgiveness to those who have wronged us. By releasing others from the debt of their offenses, we break the cycle of resentment and bitterness, paving the way for healing and reconciliation. Dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude this sermon, may we be encouraged to break every bond that hinders us from experiencing the fullness of life in Christ. Let us walk in the freedom and victory that Jesus has secured for us, knowing that with God, all things are possible. May His grace sustain us, His Spirit empower us, and His love compel us to live as overcomers, breaking every chain and walking in the glorious liberty of the children of God. Amen.